Hello and welcome to this very, very special episode of Journey to the Chateau. It's about the fountain. Bonjour à tous, bienvenue à Journey to the Chateau de Cologne. Und nun zu unseren Freunden aus dem deutschsprachigen Raum. Herzlich willkommen, neue Episode Journey to the Chateau. Uh, es geht um den Springbrunnen oder Fontäne. Uh, und alles, was dazu gehört hat. <laughs> yeah, so we are here today in our Grand Salon in the Chateau. Mm -hmm. and Uh, one of the reasons why we are not showing you the fountain in the background is because we have had some really bad weather. Again? Well, again, for the last few days. But the good thing is, is that we have had good enough weather for the past week to actually get the fountain completed. For a few days, I would say. <laughs> yes. And we were very fortunate that we had a lot of friends and patrons who were here to help us out. Yep. So have a look.
Now there are, first of all, I, I'm sorry, I just completely in my head, I digressed <laughs> and I'm going to do it. We just started and you're digressing. I know, it's terrible, isn't it? Anyways, so, um, we, we do need to thank our patrons because this was paid for by money that was given to us through Patreon. So yeah. thank you so much for Absolutely. our family. Thank you so much. Uh, it would not have happened without the patrons. And if you're always wondering, or some people were wondering, what are you doing with this? This is this was uh, from Patreon. So thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Now, the other people we need to thank, and of course, Tony came up with that ingenious idea of putting the bowl up. Right. And Tony wanted to be involved with this. There was no stopping Tony from being involved in this project. No. We could not have kept him away from this. No, actually, he threatened us. <laughs> he said, don't he you did. dare not let me be part of this project. Right. And, 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 I, and <laughs> it may not be noticeable in the video, but the p individual pieces of this fountain were extremely heavy. Oh, especially the bowl. And the large bowl at the bottom was the heaviest piece. Well, yes, and it was so heavy. Our tractor is pretty good. It was too heavy for the tractor to lift more than a foot. Just, I right. mean, like, I don't That's know, it. 20, 30 centimeters. It was, it was stuck. It couldn't lift it. And we were going around and around how we could get it up. We thought we were going to have to, to wait, base. wait, and uh, uh, rent some equipment in order to get it to in place. Which is place. All possible. And right. Tone said, think, 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 let's mm -hmm. think about this, we can do this. Right. And he came up with the solution of a chain block. Now, where do you find a chain block? Uh, on, a, on a whip. So we went to the first store here. They didn't have it. Tone said, oh, let, let me go to Chateau Roux. Mm -hmm. And he found it. So that meant we had, could lift the bucket up, put the chain block on it, and then slowly lift it. And many of it, it was absolutely fantastic. That it was, in, it was ingenious. And, and yeah. I'd never used a chain block before. I would have never crossed my mind to use that because I've never used one. No. But it's sort of based on sort of like a pulley system, yes. right? It's, it, it's distributing the weight in a way that, you know, as, as you saw in the video, you know, just by pulling a chain, it, you were able to lift like a ton of weight. So yes, it was and it's so fantastic. It, it, we know it's over a ton because this can lift, theoretically, the tractor can lift a ton. It couldn't lift it. So it was, I don't know how much over a ton, and I we didn't have a scale available to weigh it. <laughs> no. <laughs> and if we did, if we did, it would break the scale anyway, I'm sure. So. Anyway, so it's um, th that was a lot of fun. And then actually putting it all together, letting it cure the uh, epoxy in it. So it's we still have two small leaks, which we're going to deal with. Uh, what we don't have pouring rain every day. <laughs> right, right, and we, it was it was great. We had uh, uh, patron Jason. Yes, was here during part of the installation, and you saw him in the video. He was helping to install. Yes, and we also had our friends uh, Eve, Eve and Richard, and, and Richard were both here to help as well. You to help. Okay. Uh, it, it was um, Richard used to be a at some point a crane operator, and so it was. We worked really. The four of us or five of us were really well together. Then we had another patron, Johanny, who helped with uh, a lot of things around the, the chateau. It was great. Gardening, gardening yes, and, and stuff in the in the entrance hall with the staircase. She she would, did a great job. Yeah, yeah, so and the kitchen. So it was just, it takes a village, doesn't it? So right. it was wonderful to have had all this help. I'm right. incredibly grateful. We are. And uh, we do have already plans for what we're going to do for the landscaping around the fountain. Not anytime soon. No. Summer is coming and everything will, it, right. it, it burns away. So we this is has to wait till the fall. And quite frankly, after three or four months of 12 to 18 hour days at the max, we are quite exhausted and we're going to do projects that are fun and enjoyable, but we're not going to kill ourselves for the next two months. Right, right. <laughs> and we also want to thank John, our electrician. Absolutely, Who yes. uh, did uh, some, a lot of the, oh, all of the wiring, basically, to the, the fountain. And we also will have uh, in the future, near future probably, mm -hmm. we also will have lighting yes. for the fountain. So the, there will be lighting on the fountain. He's also doing some lighting for us for both of our gates. And the chateau facade. And for the facade of the chateau. And the wings. Which is going to completely change how everything looks at night. At at night over the chateau. <laughs> so we're really excited about that. that it is wonderful. Be fun. And it's, it will really showcase where, where, well, at night it's really, really dark here in the middle of France. And our street lights turn off at 11. Mm -hmm. 
that's it. Then you are in pitch black. So that's going to be uh, great. Yeah. So, oh, good grief. It's, it was a, a, a tour de force. Um, it was sheer willpower. And I'm so glad we're done this far. <laughs> Absolutely. <It's, laughs> and the chateau is now functioning as uh, for the bed and breakfast. So it come June, this will be on, on Airbnb. But there will be a whole little announcement and link and all this. We have a breakfast room. We have, have the salon ready for guests. We have the dining room. Uh, it's it's really, really nice. Yes. So that's it for this episode. It is. Uh, if, yes. If you like, please give us a <laughs> thumbs up. <laughs> like and subscribe. Subscribing doesn't cost you anything, but it helps us tremendously. We're inching towards 31,000 subscribers. Please don't hesitate. And if you want to support the renovation of the chateau, you can join us on Patreon. Now that you know what it does. And <laughs> it could do. <laughs> Or you can uh, uh, buy us a coffee, which is another website. Right. And we will see you on Friday. Yes, absolutely. Au revoir. Au revoir. Bye. Bye. Come on. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, please use the like feature to let us know. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our Journey to the Chateau YouTube channel if you would like to see more. Once you've subscribed, you can tap the notification bell in order to ring it, which will allow you to receive all notifications from our channel. Thank you.